think the league is going to find you for throwing that ball in the stands? No, nah, they won't find me. I'll probably get in trouble for something else, though. My <laughs> luck. What might that be? Who knows, man? How'd you, how'd you feel the first day out here? I felt good. It felt good to get out here. Um, it's so different from just training. You know, you try to train on different things to get your game better. Um, and then out here is just so much football involved with the plays, the thinking, the mental aspect of the game. Um, and it also feels good to get back with your teammates. You know, so I thought it was the best thing, man, is getting back to that team. Um, you know, everybody's around and cheering each other up and just all the off-season stories, you know. So I was happy to be back. How much different is this than Philadelphia? Yeah, I know. That's, I always try to get the fans involved. You know, it's, it's cool for them to come out here for camp. They make us, you know, have some fun out there. It's tough. It's hot. You know, it's, um, it's a lot going on. You know, no player is there actually looking for, forward to camp. Um, you know, so the, so the fans come out here and cheer us up and, you know, get us going. I try to do the same. What do you think of the sure if you get the buzz or it being you build? Yeah. Just being here, I mean, I could just see the difference. Um, just of the team, you know, the players not really knowing a lot about the Bills, you know, and getting here and just seeing how – how involved the, the city is, the community is, the players. I mean, you just look at the, our roster, the type of structure that we have as far as the players. Um, and then just the owners. The owners did a great job, the Pagulas, of just getting the right coaches, the right personnel, the guys in, in upstairs in the office, and then down to the players. Um, you know, Trink was down, man, and, and we all have the same dream and same goal, and that's to win games. So I feel like everything's in line. It's a matter of time, just going out there and, and getting it done. For myself, I don't. I never look at that um, as a defining moment or, or of, a, of a season. I really don't. Um, each practice, each each game, man, you gotta get better. You know. So right now we're at camp. You know, trying to get the plays down, trying to be productive as a group, and we'll move on. Um, the playoffs, if that comes, that that'll happen later down the line. But you gotta get there. You gotta perfect your game enough to, to get to the playoffs. You know, and that's a whole other story. So just a matter of just getting there. I know you don't want to put back apart before the horse. Yeah, well, like I said before, just it's my first year here, and the way I do things, I like to prepare myself um, for the season, you know, go through camp hard and, and learn, um, get the off offense down, know exactly what I'm doing and the players around me, and get better with my teammates. And then everything will take care of itself. Uh, things just a matter of time, man, but you, you have to put the work in. You know, you, you have to go through the steps. The playoffs is, is something hard, you know. Um, you know, a lot of great players have never achieved that or even won a playoff game. So you got to get there first before any playoff talks or, or trying to um, end the streak. All that type of conversation has to wait each day, each each, each moment, man, each practice to get better. So, so you talk. Did, you, did you know that? Did you learn that? Is it something that you know, kind of came about as you went around? Just being around different players, you know, so many good players, um, you know, veterans I played with. And that's their mindset. I mean, one of the guys I, I play with and love for sure, Coach Reed, Andy Reed, and his philosophies. Uh, successful coach. You know, he's with the Philadelphia Eagles for 14 years. You know, I learned a lot from him, and just you know the way he approached the game. Um, I, I'm sure everybody in the back of their mind they they want to win the Super Bowl, but it's it's ways you go by doing it. You know, and I feel like each game, each practice, man, you, you got to get better. But well, Sean, are you entering camp? That's weird. It went straight from football to the. It was a blast. It really was. I mean, I, I, DJ um, Donald Trump took over the ones and twos, man, and you know, Oprah was there. It was, it was all right. Did you hear no, I just, I, you know, I didn't actually, I canceled it. It, it got too wild. I feel like everybody took it out of context, so I just, I just canceled it. No. Well, he, I'm lying. He did. He was pissed off I didn't invite him. He gave me like a whole speech for about two hours. You got to be about the team. If one guy has women, we all need women. No, I'm, I'm joking. No, he didn't say that. But it was just like, we didn't really talk about it. Um, and on a serious note, it was just, uh, I feel like it was like a, a thing I do every year with just teammates. It was something I bring together with teammates, but I didn't do it this year. It, just, it got too a uh, wow. I should never posted it. You know, I'll take blame for that. But um, for the record, there was no weird orgy thing going on. It was just a regular, you know. Well, did you have did you like a second, <laughs> second thought to, once you Hit the set. Was it one of those 
those things like Nah, what happens? Um, one one of my uh, guys in my camp actually posted it, you know. So we had to talk with him, and you know, we all make mistakes. Um, I didn't think it was that serious, um, but I could see where people can make take it the wrong way. Nah, not really. Um, I mean, I you, I don't really judge people off that. I judge them off their work, you know, um, the production. The, the, the way I deal with them. And if somebody's excellent and they're doing well, woman or man, I mean, I don't think it matters at all. You know, so um, that's what I go off for anybody. And it's all about production. Um, I don't see well, as far as football. Uh, but I mean, if you ask like a, a regular party, there's, there's an age limit, there's, there's all type of, you know, I feel like everybody took out of context um, how it's perceived, you know. So the, the, the only part I see was wrong was the attire, and I think that everybody read it wrong or he said it wrong. And it was, if any private events that anybody ever went to, you know, um, once you submit everything, they let you know what's the appropriate attire to wear. But, every, you know, just trying to explain what was going on, but that's past me. I, that's something small to me. You know, there's so many more things in the NFL to talk about. We can talk about a party. Yeah, uh, it wasn't that fun. It wasn't too fun. I will say the talent level is uh is amazing. I mean, before I got here, I didn't know the, the type of athletes we had. Um, as far as talent, speed, the biggest part is depth. You look at good teams, man, and, and what separates a lot of good teams are depth. Because in this league, in this game, guys get hurt. And that's just part of the game. But if guys can step up, um, you know, do a good job and replace that player, man, it's, it's not a big difference. I feel like here we have a lot of talent in the backfield. Um, so many wide receivers, um, you know, can start on other teams. And even the, the guys I play with, which is very good. But overall, just the depth. Um, not player for player, but overall depth, I think that this is by far one of the talented teams I played on. Hey, LaShawn, uh, Rex Ryan talked about how he was pleased with the communication out there, for, especially for a first day of training camp, that type of thing. You talked about getting to know the offense and you know, as you prepare for the season. Where are you at that stage right now, and what is your impression of this offense with you as a focal point? The biggest thing is repetition. Um, so a lot of plays we've, we've heard before, we went over. Many camp OTAs, so we're, we're familiar with, with the, the verbiage, we're familiar, familiar with the, the plays. Um, just kind of going over and over it and really knowing it, ins and outs. Um, and like I said before, just the, the type of ownership we have here, man, is, is top line. Um, they put the right people in place, you know, to get this team where it needs to be. Um, and if things don't work out, I, I, got, I got to blame the players, man, because the coaches are, are bought in and they're putting all the right pieces together, player-wise, plays. I mean, Greg Roman is, is by far one of the most creative coaches I've been around. Um, he has that, that genius thing to him. He's always trying to find ways to, to get his special players the ball in space. Um, you know, he's always, like, quiet, thinking of things to do. So a coach like that, man, and, 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 and the guys around him, um, you know, is bound for greatness. So I just feel like we're all in place, man. As the players, we got to go out there and do it. Sean, well, last question. This is a party question. I think a lot of people have. That's good to be over here, man. <laughs> A lot of people are curious about the proper context for. Oh, man. What are the questions there? No, go ahead. Which way? No, no, I mean, proper context. Oh, man. Yes, enough. So, I think it's a situation. Well, is he playing against us? We don't know yet. It's still up in the air. Four-game suspension was upheld by the commissioner as of now. Yeah, I like Tom, to be honest. Uh, we're good friends. I like him. So hopefully the, everything works out for him. I don't really know the ins and outs. I feel like you have to know exactly the real details. Um, on TV, they let you know what they want. Um, you, the press media, you guys know that, you know? So I'm not, I'm not sure w what are the details. Would you rather see him than not see him? You don't, would you rather play a full Patriot team? I want to win. So, I mean, <laughs> with him or without him, if we get that W, that's all that matters. Thanks, well, I cared about Luce, so it might help me out. <laughs>